is what's happening outside these doors by Tennesseans who want to see change a temper tantrum? It's Sarah, whose son Noah was at the covenant school. He survived. He's five years old. And she showed up here demanding that we do something about gun violence. Is that a temper tantrum? Is elevating our voices for justice or change a temper tantrum? But there's something in the decorum of this body that makes it okay to say that folks who are exercising their First Amendment rights to speak up for the hundreds of thousands of people collectively that we represent, there's something in the decorum of this body that says it's okay to call that a temper tantrum, to call people we disagree with on the issues, to say that all they want is attention. But I'll tell you what, I don't personally want attention. What I want is attention on the issue of gun violence. But instead, we're here with the resolution you put up talking about expelling me for advocating for ending gun violence in the state of Tennessee. I'd much rather be talking with you about legislation to protect Shelby County and to protect our communities than talking about why we don't deserve to have our representation lost because we came to the well of this house saying we've got to do something. That's what I would like to be doing. And so you brought attention or tried to bring attention to me, but I want to turn the attention to the people. The people who will never be able to throw a temper tantrum for gun violence. You know, the Larry Thorns, the Catherine Kuntzes, the, the Mike Hills, the Cynthia Peaks, the Evelyn Decals, the Haley Scruggs, the William Kennedys, who will never have a chance to throw what you call a temper tantrum.